What is going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to properly remove all of the barriers on Guardian. Now, some of what I'm showing you applies to many other maps, but specifically I'm going to be touching base with Guardian. So we're going to open up Guardian via assembly. So you're going to click on your Halo 3 folder, hit maps, and go down to Guardian. So the first thing we're going to do is type in SDDT. This is going to bring up your soft ceilings. Now we're going to click on the I on all of these and change that to zero and hit enter. And this is going to remove all the soft ceilings. So everything that's above the map. After that, we're going to type in SCNR and open up scenario and type in trigger. So we're going to do the same thing like we did with the soft ceilings. Um, we're going to click on the I and change that to zero and hit enter and get rid of those. And continuing onward with the triggers, we're gonna go down to the kill triggers and the safe zone triggers. Same thing, hitting the eyes and scaling those down to zero. So all the basic stuff's taken care of, um, soft ceilings, kill triggers, safe zone triggers. Now we're gonna type in crate pallet. Now they actually place little invisible walls in boxes um, in the forge, like uh, they actually uh, place these little pieces that block you. So uh, starting at 41, you're going to see a list of walls and boxes um, that are placed randomly throughout the map. So we're going to null all of these instances um, and get rid of those. So from 41 all the way to 50, just hit null, get rid of all those annoying little things, and that's going to open up a few more spots. Now, the next part after this is where we're going to do some of the major changes. So, continuing on, we're going to go to SBSP. So we're going to open this up, and we're going to type in Instanced Geometry. Now, you're going to see this, and you're going to see hundreds of tags. Now, for easy access, I have them written down right here. So starting at 315, we're going to be removing what are called biped blockers. So these are meant to block your character. So we're going to change the scale to zero on all of these, which is just the first number that you see up top, which all of them say one. So we're changing all these to zero. And so on to the next one here. Four nineteen zero. 420, 0, 421, 0, and 427. Now, for example, these, um, some of these cover th um, the chandelier above Guardian. Uh, certain little spots around the top edge of the map that are typically blocked um, even after you just simply remove soft ceilings and kill triggers. So after you do all this, you're going to hit save all, and you're going to experience uh, what a lot of people haven't yet, uh, just by doing all the simple stuff. So you're going to be able to go to different parts of the map um, and stand on certain ledges that you couldn't before. So I really hope that this video helps you. A lot of the tutorials I've seen to remove barriers are just the basic uh, remove, you know, kill triggers and soft ceilings and they don't go above and beyond to talking about the crates, talking about uh, instance geometry. Um, but this is just an example of how open it is now. And typically some of these spots I'm touching, you wouldn't be able to get to without removing those SBSPs. So, and example of the soft ceiling removal and kill triggers, as you can see, all working just fine. So once you do all that, like I said, make sure you save all um, to save all three tag windows that you have open and experience the greatness. So, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. You guys have a good one.